Hi, Melissa. So excited to talk with you. Um, always appreciate your insights, your energy, and uh, your support on this journey. How are you doing? I'm doing good. And I'm excited to talk about boundaries with you today and why we all need them. Yes, especially um, as social situations change or your energy changes and your level of awareness changes, uh, new boundaries need to be set. Um, we're not always in the same timeline that we remember ourselves to be. Um, and then we quite possibly have outgrown certain patterns, uh, which requires a new boundary. Right. And I feel like so much can be avoided if you just had boundaries. Like when we grow up and we start dating, we don't know what a boundary is. Or even we, we don't even know with our family what a boundary is and how you can even set one or what one really looks like when you're in the frame of like living with a parent. You're in the frame of living with your, um, you know, lover or boyfriend or even marriage, you know, like, like you might not have those boundaries. There might always be this place of where you you do things for other and forget about self. And so I think it's really important because remember that we can't help other if we don't have ourselves taken care of. For sure. And understanding what you need and being willing to communicate those needs. I think the communication piece um, can be quite challenging. Again, like you said, we don't always talk about boundaries in the workplace growing up and in relationships. And I found for myself personally and people I talk with, it, like sometimes boundaries are spill over or uh, let me clean this up from the past. Um, you know, I know for me, once I learned no didn't mean no, um, I didn't say it because there was that was no wasn't respected. And I can go to family situations and they'll ask me the same question like three times. Like, I am going to change my mind if you keep asking me. And where do you define that respect? How do you get uh, your needs um, respected and communicate that? Yeah, and I, and I do realize it's, it is, takes courage, actually. I need to stand up for yourself because I know when I used to date when I was younger, I used to find it really hard to just be mean to a guy and say, okay, this date's not working out. Well, I want to go home. <laughs> I used to just sit there with it and like, oh, God, when, when this is done, I'm, I'm out. But like I would stick, sit through it. And now I'm at a place where I can really say, okay, I'm leaving goodbye we're done <laughs> and i think that might sound mean but it's my boundary and i don't want to waste my time with this you know and we're also even think about it in the parental areas like what are you willing to deal with and i really feel like setting a boundary you have to be willing to give something up too you can't just say it and not have any backup for it if you tell somebody 20 times i'm going to break up with you unless this and this happens and you're not going to pull through with it it doesn't mean anything right right, right. you have to have the courage to actually have the action step as well and you know we come up as being people pleasers when we're young right we're conditioned to be people pleasers when we're young and so we really have to grow out of that like okay what if my mom's mad at me what if my teacher's mad at me what if my boss is mad at me you know um i you know it's all of that coming together and having to to me it takes a lot of the word courage to to set a boundary first yeah, definitely. And I think recognizing what it is you need, learning how to speak up and being willing to deal with the consequences, whether that means you have to walk away and make a change yourself, because that other person may or may not respect your boundaries. They might be triggered because you've changed the dynamics and the connection with your no, your request or your new line in the sand. Right. Right. And also I've come up with a lot of people who are dealing with addictions and, you know, where is your boundary with that? And when you're fresh in the dating scene in twenties and even in your early thirties, you might deal with this kind of thing. And to me, that is a kind of a sickness in its own way. And why would you ruin your life and put your life on hold when you're dealing with, they need to deal with that. That's not your problem, you know, and you may love them to death, but you know, if you're wondering if they're the one, then it's probably not. <laughs> 
But um, anyway, so we're, I just I'm excited to talk about communicating. How do you communicate this? How do we gain enough courage to speak up? How to do it without presenting, uh, you know, a fight, but also gaining that respect. So I'm excited to talk to you about this and go deeper into things in these classes that we've set up. And uh, yeah. Yeah, keep an eye out. Um, and if you'd like to join our group, send us an email message to join our Facebook group, Insights and Intuition. Thank you. Thank you.